Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. And Eric, I have a question here from our audience. Bird Doodles asks, how do you use your brushes to create a water background? Oh, that's a good one. So first you're going to want to download my brushes, which are available in the link in the description to this video. They're also on DeviantArt. And what we're going to do is, I have this little drawing up already because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample some colors from here. And you can see that I have this water effect in the background. So this is what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and take that to right there. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this canvas. So usually what I do is um, I just kind of create the point in the sky where uh, the water is going to be. So let's go ahead and just quickly make out a sky here. And I'm going to take this marquee tool, which will be our water selection, and then just kind of make this area here a little darker. Wow, you're done. Amazing. <laughs> I wish. It's water. All right, so in this little section here, uh, we're going to create the water effect. So oh, okay. in the uh, selection here, you can see in the middle, I kind of have it a little lighter, just because we like, kind of pretend like the water has a little bit of a spotlight on it. But here's where it gets uh, really interesting. So in my brush set, there's this, this brush right here. kind of looks like, I don't know, little flying birds in the distance. It's actually a water texture. So if mm. I take a lighter color from in here, so I'm sampling this uh, very light cyan color. I'm going to kind of increase the size a little bit so we can kind of see it. But basically, I'm just going to go up and down in the canvas now. And that's pretty much it. So you, if, hmm? so hold on. This, is this brush is opaque or it's, it's a little... It's dependent on your pen pressure. So I can go very, very light or I can go very, very harsh. I see. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to just kind of fade it in. So I'm going to take a little bit of a mid-tone there and then kind of do the edges a little. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then if I take that darker color there, like maybe this really, really dark, like blue and step it down just a bit more, we can kind of give the illusion that the waves themselves have their own shadow. Cool. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and play with the amount of waves that you have in the picture, but uh, it's a pretty easy process to create waves very, very easy when you have the uh, appropriate brushes. Uh, now, are there other brushes that you could use to supplement this? Yeah, I do have this brush here, which is the um, like a harsher a level for waves, like where they're a little more defined out. Let's see if I can, oh. see if I can get that to work a little bit. I, I tend to use it when there's going to be like a highlight or a very very intense shadow. Uh, but right. you can see here, like it's it's a little bit finicky, so you always kind of want to either do it for the reflection or for anywhere where there's a little bit more depth. I usually use I it for right where the reflection is. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, no problem. I hope this helped you. And I hope to see you again on another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. Smell you later. Mm -hmm.